Hi guys, welcome back. In this session, we are going to talk about often user. So, what is the orphan user? First of all, so before understanding this concept, I would like to talk about the two more important concepts. The first one is a login. Second one is a user. So login is a server level concept as you know if I need to access to a respective server I need to have what I need to have a login. So login is a server level concept. Then user. Once I have the login I need to map that login to respect to database so with the same name the users will be created. So users will be uh, a database level concept. So what does it mean? It means logins are present at a server and users are present in a database. Okay, so uh, when this situation occur with respect to of one user. So for example, I have one server and there is a one database. I am taking the backup of that database and I am taking that backup and, take, and restoring it on another server. When I restore that database on another server, the database get created uh, along with the users which they have in the database. But you know, users are always connected with their login. So as we know when we do backup that time what happens that time we just uh, take the users and restore it because logins is a server level thing and which we don't copy it actually so what happened in this case the database get restored users get created but those user doesn't have the login so users can't log into that server and users can't get access to directly to that database and this kind of situation where users are present but logins are not present and that situation is called as the often user situation and those users called as the often user to fix this often user there are uh, multiple solution the first solution is a containing containing database and second one is we need to transfer the login to the script which Microsoft has given before that I would like to show you the what is contained database just go to the property section and then options here you will see the content main type if it is none it means that users will depend on the login but if it is partial it means you don't need to transfer the login the users uh, with login automatically be transferred if it is partial so this is the one time sorry this is a one type of solution second type solution is there is a some script you can get it online through the microsoft uh, site which uh, which we need to run on master so that we'll get the the logins and the users script just we need to get it and we need to copy it and we need to go to the respective database of another server where we have restored it that just we need to uh, run it logins will be created so hope you like the concept of often user this is the simplest and easiest concept of often user thanks for watching have a great day